Good morning, Emmanuel Christian School, and welcome to our second assembly of the week. Now, as you can see, I've changed space this morning, and I've got a few different maps behind me. Yesterday, I had a map of Africa behind me, and today I've got lots of different maps of the ancient world. Some of them are places that you've studied in history, um, and they go through different time periods together. In fact, I think over there behind me, you can see some of you have studied about the fertile crescent between the river Tigris and the Euphrates. And that's a fun map over there, and that green pot is that fertile crescent. But today I was going to share with you about peacock verses. Now, the year five and six heard a little bit about peacock verses a few weeks ago, because I explained to them that in my Bible I have five peacocks. And those peacocks are stickers. They're not real peacocks, they wouldn't fit. Um, they're stickers that I was given about 20 years ago by a friend after a special time in my Christian life when God had done lots of really encouraging things. And she gave me these stickers and I thought, what should I do with them? And I thought, I know, I'm going to stick them in verses in my Bible that remind me things about God that are true, even when things aren't necessarily as easy as I'd like them to be or as amazing and wonderful as I'd like them to be. And one of the peacocks is in a verse in Hebrews, not the one we looked at yesterday, but quite close to it. And one of them is in the book of Ezekiel that we looked at in theology last week. And one of them is in the book of Philippians that we shared chapter two from last week in our Easter service. But my peacock isn't in chapter three, it, it, in, in chapter two, sorry, it's in chapter three. And I'm going to read the verses to you, not from my peacock bible, but from a new bible that I've got that's a bit blue and spotty. Here it is. This is how the verse goes. Not that I have already obtained all this, or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, Forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead, I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenwards in Christ Jesus. Now, as I was reading this verse, it reminded me of a time last term where some girls from another school came and shared lots of experiments about water with us. Do you remember that? Um, I think the children from the acorns up to year six were involved. And they had lots of different experiments. They had the water cycle and you all pretended to be water droplets and go through the water cycle. And they had water music where you could make different notes with different amounts of water in bottles. And they had water art where you could get pictures to change round as you put them through water and they change direction. And they had dirty water that you had to make clean. But I think the one that everybody enjoyed the most was the bubble experiment. They gave you woolen gloves to put over your hands and they blew bubbles and you caught them. And the bubbles did something a bit unexpected. They didn't do what bubbles normally do. They didn't pop. In fact, they stayed on your hand and you could bounce them from one hand to another. And eventually if you hit them a little bit too hard they'd go, but they were able to you were able to hold them in your hand for so much longer than normal. And bubbles give us lots of joy, and they give us even more joy when they last. And I think this passage has lots to teach us about bubbles. I think in our Christian life, as we live for Jesus, there are moments where we experience times that are really amazing. Times where we know God's love in a very special way, and his care, and his protection and his peace. And I think last week at Emmanuel was one of those times where God made himself known to us in a very special way as we lived and learnt together and we faced lots of unexpected things. And it's easy to want to hold on to the bubble and say, God, I want to keep this forever. It's so special. Look how shiny it is and beautiful it is. But God wants us to have something better than the bubble. He wants us to have the thing that the bubbles came from so that we have a constant source of the peace and the joy 
and the love that he gives us in those moments like we experienced last week. And the passage in Philippians reminds us of that too. Paul says, I forget what's behind and I press on to take hold of that for which Jesus took hold of me. Jesus took hold of us so that we might know him himself more deeply. He doesn't want us to hold on to the bubbles of the good things that he gives us and the times that we have really knowing him deeply and experiencing. He wants us to press on every time we experience a bubble to know the one from whom all of those things come. So that even when we don't have those wonderful, amazing times, we have what's truly precious, which is Jesus himself. And I'm sure at the moment, even after just one day, there are things that you're beginning to miss about school. You might be missing friends. You might be missing familiar things, like the cups coming out at break with the milk in, or the bell going and tidy up and line up, and all those things that are part of your life, that are special parts of your day as we live together. But Paul says, don't look back look forward. He says, stretch out your hand to the one who gave you all those things, gives you all those things you enjoy, and promises to give you so much more as he calls him, you to know him better. One of the things that's exciting when so many things are coming to a stop is, there, is that there is one thing that never stops, and, that, and that's God's desire that all who love him come to know him better that all of us who love him might become more like him. And he often uses hard things to do that, so we might become people who are more patient, who persevere, who have courage and character and hope. We don't always know why the struggles come, but we know God never leaves us alone in them. We don't know why he can't just take them away, but we know that he's preparing so something so much better for us. So today you can ask God that he would help you to hold on to his love, that you would press on in your learning, confident of his love. And you would press on in learning to love each other in the different places God has called you to be now, as he prepares you for the home he's prepared for you with him forever. Today, don't hold on to the bubble of the past. It was a good thing and a blessing from God. But press on to know God better, the person who gives you all good things and the person who gives you the greatest gift of all, Jesus Christ himself. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we pray that today, in all our learning, that you would help us to press on to know you better. Please help us as we miss different things about school routine and friends and familiar places. Please would you give us love in our families to love one another, and to persevere in the places that you've called us to be at the moment. For Jesus' sake. Amen.